Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. A beautiful um, conservation park nearby Orangeville. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share Proverbs 4 verse 19. It says, The way of the wicked is like total darkness. They have no idea what they are stumbling over. Here's my poem. Stumbling in total darkness. Is there something in your life that you cannot understand? Was there an experience that kept you fearful and sad? The ways of the wicked is like total darkness. They are stumbling and feel hopeless. They have no idea how to get out of this pit because they have already grieved the Holy Spirit. Wickedness will always bring you desolation. Righteousness, on the other hand, leads to salvation. Here's my essay. Have you ever experienced groping in a dark room or place? It is something you are familiar with. If it's something that you're familiar with, just like going to the bathroom in the middle of your sleep, it's probably not a big deal. When it is some place or situation that you are unfamiliar with, it poses a big, bigger challenge. As you walk in that dark area, you stumble over things or can fall over something. It might even be dangerous and cause you to get hurt. The Bible explains how the ways of the wicked is like total darkness where they stumble over things. Proverbs is likening it to life. When we remain in our evil ways, we become blinded by the enemy from the lies he tells us. We are unable to see the truth because we get absorbed in worldly ways. Prayer. Lord, help me to be able to discern when I go astray. Reflection. How can we totally avoid evil ways? First, we have to believe and commit our lives to Jesus Christ. And then we need to maintain abiding in Him and have a very close relationship with Him through reading His Word, familiarizing yourself with His Word, meditating on His truth day and night, memorizing verses, applying it in your life. So these are the ways that you will be protected from the schemes of the devil because in John 10.10, 10, it says that the devil's purpose is to steal, kill, and destroy us. So if we are equipped using the armor of God in Ephesians 6, that uh, we use the word of God as a sort of our spirit and we use faith, we use uh, obedience, these things are all important so that we will be able to fight the enemy's tactics. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaars.com for more artworks and photographs. Have yourself a wonderful day. God loves you so much, and so do I.